Around 600 years ago, the city of Ahmedabad was founded by Ahmed Shah I of the Gujarat Sultanate. Under the sultans, the city grew in importance for over 160 years. The Ahmed Shahi dynasty wanted to surround themselves with monuments as a display of power. They were supported by the supply of skilled workmen that helped them create splendid specimens of Indo-Islamic architecture. One of these was the Sidi Bashir Mosque, whose minarets continue to baffle tourists and engineers even today. Built in 1452, the minarets of the Sidi Bashir Mosque are located across from the Sarangpur Gate to the east of the old walled city of Ahmedabad, near the present-day train station. The 15th century mosque was largely damaged during the early ages of the Maratha wars with the Sultan of Ahmedabad in 1753. What is left today is only an arched gateway connecting two minarets. Built in Indo-Islamic style and heavily influenced with Rajputana architecture, the three-story minarets are one of the tallest minarets in Ahmedabad. What makes these minarets even more special is a strange phenomena that gave them the name of Jhulta Minar or the Shaking Minarets. The unique feature of the minarets of the Sidi Bashir Mosque was first discovered in the 19th century by an English scholar, Monir M. Williams. He observed that when one minaret is gently shook, it sets the other minaret vibrating within a few seconds without causing any movement in the connecting passage between the two minars. The mystery behind the shaking minarets have intrigued scientists for years and continue to be the architectural wonder of its time. Several British men spent many years trying to figure out the secret. So, why do these minarets actually shake? Unlike flexible materials like steel, the structure is made of sandstone which makes it brittle. The mechanism that leads to vibration is still a mystery. Many assumptions about the peculiarity in architectural features have been made. But the exact reason behind this strange occurrence is still not known. One explanation could be the intelligent use of solid mechanics. Unlike other minarets, horizontal grooves have been provided in minarets at Sidi Bashir Mosque. These horizontal grooves have been credited for the shaking nature of the minarets. Are there any other shaking minarets in the world? Only two sets of shaking minarets have survived the scrutiny of time. One being the minarets of Sidi Bashir Mosque in India, and the other being the Monar Jumban in Isfahan, Iran. The other minarets that were built in the same period in Ahmedabad region have disintegrated with time. The shaking minarets at Jami Masjid in Gujarat were destroyed in an earthquake in 1819. And another pair at the Raj Bibi Mosque in Ahmedabad also had shaking minarets similar to those at the Sidi Bashir Mosque. Under the British Raj, the top of one of the minarets was dismantled in order to study the construction, but could not be put back together. The Sidi Sayyid Mosque, the Jama Masjid, Rani Nohajiro, Mangaldas Haveli, the Shaking Minaret, and many more such monuments were built during this time. The minarets at the Sidi Bashir Mosque are an exquisite example of workmanship of one of its kind, reflecting the glorious period of the Ahmed Shahi dynasty.